from 1797 to 1810. A man named Philip Whitehead was working as a clerk for the Bank of England in London. He started using the bank's money and the stock market to fund his overindulgent lifestyle. Eventually, the bank caught up with Philip and he resigned before setting himself up as a stockbroker. It wasn't long before people found out that he'd committed fraud against Roberts and Co. by forging an acceptance bill. Philip was charged and executed by hanging on the 29th of January, 1812. Philip had a sister, Sarah Whitehead, who was suffering from ill mental health. Friends and family hid the fact that Philip had been executed so to not cause her any undue distress. In due time, Sarah found out what had happened to her brother and she became very unstable. Every day she visited the bank, asking where her brother is and if she could see him. She would be dressed in typical mourning clothes of the era, a long black dress with a headdress and a lace veil and she became known as the Bank Nun. After a time, the bank decided that they had to take action to stop her turning up every day, so they offered her money. She accepted the money, but she still returned daily until she died. But then she still returned. Sarah was buried within the grounds of the bank in the old graveyard, which became the bank gardens. Her ghost has been seen by many people, in and around the bank, often seen wandering around the garden on Threadneedle Street. Some people believe that Sarah was the reason behind the name, the old lady of Threadneedle Street. <laughs>